this is one of the rooms that I would see Mr. Wally in. And I still remember the very first time I walked in and I said, Hi, I'm Dr. Wolf. How you doing today, Mr. Wally? And he said, Okay, okay. And every time I saw Mr. Wally, I walked in, I'd say, How you doing, Mr. Wally? And he'd say, Okay, okay. And what I found was that Mr. Wally was a kind and a gentle man, and a calming and a peaceful man. And what I truly found, and what was so different from our world, our fast-paced world where everything's in a spin, that when my day had sucked, and sometimes it did, but even when my day sucked, when I went into that room and I said to Mr. Wally, Mr. Wally, hey, how you doing? He said, okay, okay. And all of a sudden, my day too was okay, okay. And when his daughter called me and said, my dad fell, he was 90. He broke his hip, he's very sick, he's not doing well, and we don't think he's going to make it. And we wanted to let you know. I went to the hospital, and Mr. Wally was calmly asleep, so much so that I didn't know if I should wake him, but I did come to see him. So I did. I gently rubbed him on the shoulder. And I said, Mr. Wally, it's Dr. Wolf. How you doing? And he said, okay, okay, just like he had. Every time he saw me, Mr. Wally, died the next day. And though I only knew him for three years, he was very important. Such a reminder of calm and peace. Having served our country in World War II. Everything I learned about him in his life and after just magnified my great respect for him. There was no one else like Mr. Wally. He was okay. Okay. He made my days better. I hope I made some of his better, too. He really was okay. Okay.